is like starting right on time. Good afternoon, everybody. Ken Zaws here for George Langevin Productions. We are at the 2010 Far West Regionals, a U14 match just underway. WSM Galacticos out over the Hillsboro, Beaverton, Oregon area. They're in red and they're battling the Magic City Squad out of Billings, Montana. Just at game time. We have not had all day long any wind. And now, right here at 3.30 game time, the wind picking up. And let's see if it's a factor. These fields already play a bit slow. And I'm not sure if there were some complaints or anything like that in the first two games. But we noticed yesterday, after the games were finished, they did go and they, they trimmed the fields just a little bit. So they're not as thick as they were the first two games. So we'll see if they play a little bit faster here. Ball in the middle third. And we'll get you the rosters for these teams in just a minute. Ball near the back line. And knocked out there by number six, Donovan Luce. And double zero, Nico Devera will take the corner kick into the wind. And let's see now how the Galacticos play it. They attack the net. Here's the kick, and they do up top. First touch there by number 10, Antonio Poreco. And now Magic City will push it up here towards midfield. Across midfield, rolls, rolls, hit to the near side, and does go out. Keep it up. And number 22 for Galacticos, Brendan Faro will put the ball into play. Quickly, Magic City gets it back in. Number six, Donovan loose, Donovan into the middle. Far side, still alive in the box, and picked up by the keeper. Nice job, guys. Quinn Marshall, Quentin Marshall, the keeper for Galacticos. And quickly, they get into the backfield of Magic City. And the keeper for Magic City. Cole Catlin is ready. Spreading the field, Galacticos. Cross up field, far side. In the box, there's a shot to the net, and Cole, Cole Catlin will pick it up and fires it well across midfield. And out right here at midfield, just below us. Come on, Tommy. And number nine, Zach Morgan Flash. We will put the ball into play here, right at mid. Both teams battling here on the near side. Galacticos trying to bring it across midfield, and they do. Number 17, Jesse Garcia Aguilar. Off to number 21 here on the near side. Isaac Strunner. Cole Catlin, the save. Deep kick in the circle. And it's taken away here on the left half of the field. Number 22, Brandon Faro. One Marshall, the keeper, has got it. Number three here on the near side, Austin Kernian. Austin looks upfield here from the near side. Number 21, looking for somewhere to go with it. Isaac, Isaac Strunner into the middle. Jesse. 
Number 13 for Galacticos far side, Christopher Michelson. Inside, Nathan Beasley, number 14, now back out. Number three, Austin. Austin goes back here to the near side. And that ball sailed towards the back line. Morgan Flash sends it here to the near side. Austin keeps it alive at midfield. And it's going to be out off Zach. Morgan Flash. I'm Steve. I'm Dion. Nice to meet you. Number nine to the back line, Zach. And off here on the near side, number 21, Isaac Sterner. So we'll get you the roster here for the WSM Galacticos out of the Beaverton area, Oregon. Double zero, Nico Devera. Number three, Austin Kernian. Number four, Christopher Graves. Number five, Chase Boone. Number six is Kento Naka. Number seven, Alejandro Segovia. Number nine, Eric Avales, Eric Avales Alfaro. Number 10 is Antonio Poreco. Number 13, Christopher Michelson. Number 14, Nathan Beasley. Number 16 is Jordan Seach. Number 17, Jesse Garcia Aguilar. There's the kick, just a little bit long. The header towards the goal, and it will find the back of the net. Galacticos will jump up on top here. 1-0 over Magic City. Hey, brush it off, guys. That's the last one. Antonio Poreco, I believe. There's a lot of traffic in there. But the Galacticos with the score, 1-0. The keeper, Quentin Marshall. Number 22 is Brandon Faro. Number 23, Rubio Mendez Rubin. Isaac Strenner, number 21. And number 11, Alfredo Valladares Sanchez. The coach is Chris Thurley. Galacticos on the attack again. Here on the near side, knocked out number three, Sage D'Ambrosia. And it'll be Galacticos ball here near side. Number 10, Antonio Poreco. Now inside, rolls out of the box. Actually still in, now out. And a whistle that's gonna go against Galacticos. And for Magic City, number one is Mason Butler. Number two, the keeper, Cole Catlin. Number three, Sage D'Ambrosia. Number four, Colin Gregory. Number six, Donovan Luce. Number seven, Mason Luce. Number eight, Thomas Martz. Number nine, Zach Morgan Flash. Number 10 is Alexander Misig. Number 11, Kyle Nye. Number 12, Christian Nuremberger. Number 13, Brandon Peterson. And Kyle Nye actually did not make the trip. Brandon Peterson, number 13. Number 14, Nicholas Preston. Number 15, Reese Quaid. Number 16, Nolan Trafton. Number 17, Jacob Woodring. Number 18, Emmett Zavitz. And number 19 is Roberto Lopez, head coach Daniel McNally, and the manager is Michelle Luce. Reese Quaid, number 15, with the touch there for Magic City. Defense for Galacticos back. Got the 1 0 lead. Nico Devera, now it goes upfield, number 14. Nathan Beasley, off Magic City. And the Galacticos will put the ball into play for our side. Today, Wednesday, the 23rd of June, 2010. We're at the 2010 Far West Regionals in Bernalillo, New Mexico, just outside of Albuquerque. Field number 14. 
3.30 p.m. start here. Shot towards the net. That's going to be wide outside across the back line. And the goal kick coming up here for Magic City. So Cole Catlin gets the ball rolling. Galacticos keep it here on the right half. Number nine, far side. There's the cross that we're looking for, number 14. Pass from Eric Avales Alfaro, number 14, Nathan Beasley. Looks like Galactica's looking for another score here. Number 17, clears it far side for Magic City. Jacob Woodring and Alexander Musig, number 10 there. And Musig will put the ball in the play. Galactic goes again on the attack into the defensive third of Magic City. Ball still in play. And now out in the Galactico squad will put the ball into play far side. Ball here to the near side, number three, Austin Kernian. The pass off to number 21, Isaac Strenner. Now up top, Magic City pushes him up or back to midfield. Strenner off to Kernian again. Austin moves inside, looking for someone to pass it. Finds Isaac again. Isaac now moves. Pass to number 10, Antonio. And Antonio. Takes an angle, there's his cross deflected out by number three. Sage D'Ambrosia for Magic City. And the corner kick coming up for the Galactico squad. Nico Devera. Double zero will take the kick from the far side. All right, they're gonna move him here to the near side. So Galactico's looking to add to their lead. Devera gets it rolling, he's got it back now. Left leg, just a little bit long, can't connect there. Still in the box. And now cleared away by Magic City. Ball is out far side, and it's Magic City ball. Xander Musig will put the ball into play. Magic City, they don't have enough white jerseys up front there to run that one down. Austin Kernian will get to it. And it goes out off Galactico, so that will give an opportunity now for Magic City to get some help up front. Far side and out of play again. And Xander Musig again will put the ball into play. And a whistle there in front of the referee, or by the referee, he was right there on top of the play. And the free kick will go to Magic City. Let's see if they can capitalize here. Colin Gregory, number four. All right, Gregory set for the kick. 
And there's the whistle. Here it comes. Line driver towards the net. Off the keeper. Pushed in. No. Saved again. And finally in by Magic City. Sage D'Ambrosia. There was two saves there. One by the keeper and I think one by number 17 for the Galacticos, Jesse Garcia Aguilar. But that third time was a charm for Magic City and they've tied this match 1-1 against the Galacticos. We might have a shootout here. We're 1-1 here in the first half. Got about 15 minutes remaining. Magic City back to midfield and across. Towards the back line, number 14 for Galacticos. Nathan Beasley trying to make something happen there. It's knocked out here near side, and that was all started by Antonio Poreco, number 10. So the throw in for the Galacticos here near side. Now they make their way into the box area. Nico goes inside, deflected out. Far side. Number 18 for Magic City there, Emmett Zavitz. Ball out far side and Galacticos will put it into play in their half of the field. Now looking upfield and angled here to the near side. Try to get it to number 21, Isaac Strunner, but just too far. You let him, it goes out near side, and Magic City will put the ball into play. Austin Crean's got to get back, fires it out here on the near side. Magic City will put it into play. Mason loose number seven. Puts it into play. A long pass, cross field. Galacticos, they want to get out and run. Antonio there in the middle, looks to the near side. He's got Strunner. Isaac on the run, number 21. Stops, changes direction, now moves inside. And the ball is out. That'll be a corner for Galacticos. <laughs> 21st minute of play. We're tied at one. Devera's kick. Met there by Magic City, pushed out here towards the near sideline in a collision. Ball goes to Magic City. Ball is going to be out here near side. Goes right back over to Galacticos. Isaac's throw is in. Off to number 17. Jesse Garcia Aguilar in the circle. Colin Gregory trying to get to the ball for Magic City. Aguilar. Jesse Garcia Aguilar fires it to the far side, number 11. It's Alfredo Valladares Sanchez. Galacticos moving it on the far side of the field now. 
Valladar Sanchez tripped up. Galactico's ball far side. And they're going to take a quick water break here. Hey. All right, we are back after the quick water break. Galacticos firing it upfield just outside the box, cleared out. Nico Devera passing into the middle. Pedro Sanchez still with the ball. Now out to number 22, Brandon Faro. There's the cross. Morgan Flash clears it out. Now the shot with the right leg deflected by D'Ambrosia. Colin Gregory. Looking for somewhere to go. Nice pass here, number six. Donovan Luce. Donovan into the middle to Thomas Martz. Martz right back to Donovan. And coming from behind, Austin Kernian. So the ball goes out and Colin Gregory, number four. Colin will take the kick. There it comes. A little bit long on the header. It's going to roll far side. And now cleared up towards midfield. Galacticos number nine, Eric Avalis Afaro. Eric still using that line. Now upfield on the pass towards the back line. Nobody home. And out. And they're going to give it to Magic City. Ball at midfield. We are tied at one, first half. Twenty-seventh minute of play. Cleared up by Quentin Marshall, number eighteen, the keeper for Galacticos. Ball out. In goes to Galacticos. All right, so that ball fired across midfield. Antonio passes it off to number 17, Jesse Garcia Aguilar. Aguilar still taking it. Slide tackled, ball taken away. Colin Gregory with the pass here too. Look this, Donovan Luce. Number six. Substitutions for Galacticos coming out. Double zero, Nico Devera. And number nine, Eric Avales Alfaro. <laughs> Throw comes in. A roll to the back line, number 13. Christopher Michelson. And off Galacticos. And Christopher. Nirenberger, number 12, will put the ball into play. Nirenberger gets it back. What a Morgan flash, goes upfield. Martz. Save from going out. 
by Morgan Flash. Now he's got the header, puts it inside. Coming from behind to take that one away, number 13. Brandon Peterson, but the Galacticos recover. They've got the ball into the defensive third of Magic City. Red ball, red ball. Out here on the near side. Galacticos will have it. Number 17, Desi Garcia Aguilar. Off to Isaac Strunner. Isaac wants to make his move inside and the whistle against Sage D'Ambrosia. There's the kick in front of the net, cleared away by Magic City. Nice opportunity there for Galacticos. Nuremberger now, he's got some room to run. Cross midfield with the left leg, there's a pass, too strong. He was looking for number six, Donovan Loose. Alfredo Valladares Sanchez. Far sideline. Now back to Christopher Michelson. And over the back right now, there's the whistle. Gives the ball to Galacticos right there just above midfield. Antonio Poreco was the victim there. There's the kick. Into the middle, Michelson, number 13, moves to the far side. Ball taken away. Magic City wants to move. There's a shot here to the near side. Isaac into the middle. They wanted the header, couldn't connect. Michelson. Now they come right back out near midfield, number 22. Brandon Faro. To the net, high into the air, deflected by the keeper. Cole Catlin still in play. Isaac Strunner going up against Nuremberger, takes it away from Christopher. Or, I'm sorry, Christian Nuremberger. Ball is out, belongs to Galacticos here near side. Substitution for Magic City coming out, number 13, Brandon Peterson. There's the whistle. Await the ball to be put into play. Number one now in for Magic City, Mason Butler. Comes in. Galactico's moving inside. Third back out. The flag is up. And that's going to give the ball over to Magic City. Offsides. Ball across midfield on the header. He's going to come down with it. Colin Gregory sends it to the left half. Austin Kernian back there, number three. Back to midfield. Ball near side. Starting with a pass up to number 17, Jesse Garcia Aguilar. Ball out. Still belongs to Galacticos. Time running down here in the first half. There's a cross in the middle. That ball's going to find the back of the net. And they moved it in and out perfectly. Number 21 there right down the middle. Isaac Schrenner and Galacticos with a 2-1 to one lead over Magic City now late in the first half. Here, 
So two to one. Galacticos with the lead. It looks like they'll be taking that into halftime. Not much, maybe a minute to go. Thirty-fifth minute of play. Ball out far side. Yeah, but the red. I don't which shorts are coming. The red. And out again, far side. Number 16 there for Magic City. Nolan Trafton. We saw the <clears throat> Magic City squad play Hawaii on Monday. 1-1 one, one tie. Ball on the left half of the field, up towards mid. And that's going to go right past the keeper, Quinn Marshall. And luckily for Quentin, he didn't touch it, or did he? And he didn't touch it. Marshall's kick up towards midfield. Colin Gregory tried to get in front of it. Nevertheless, Magic City keeps it here on the left side. Ball still in play, and now it's the Galacticos to bring it up towards midfield. Colin Gregory with the block. <coughs> Cross midfield. Galacticos on the attack. Musig with the block, sends it back the other way across midfield. Antonio Porreco, number 10 in the middle. Very busy today for Galacticos. Brandon Faro, number 22, far side. And there's the whistle signaling the end of the first half of play. And it is WSM Galacticos with a 2-1 to one lead over Magic City as we head to halftime. Ken Gonzalez with Langevin Productions. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes. All right, welcome back. Start of the second half of this match between the Westside Metro's Galacticos and Magic City. Galacticos from the Beaverton, Oregon area. Magic City from Billings, Montana. And it's 2-1, to one, Galacticos. Just about set to start the second half. And there's the whistle. So second half is underway here. Let's see what happens. Magic City trailing by a goal. And the ball belongs to Galacticos here on the near side. So Magic City needs a win here and some help. They tied their first game 1-1. Then they lost yesterday to the team from Idaho 5-1. Galacticos, 2-0 so far, 3-0, or 
They beat Idaho 3 0 and Hawaii 5 0. And here it is, their third game. They lead 2 to 1 over Magic City. Cole Catlin will haul that one in. Catlin's kick up towards midfield. Number nine with the header for the Galacticos, Eric Avales Alfaro. Now Eric moving right to left. He's tripped up from behind, number seven. Mason loose. So Galacticos moving closer to the defensive third. Magic City, now they've got the kick. So huge opportunity here if they can go up 3-1. Here comes a kick. Garcia Aguilar knocked back out. He gets it again and on a bounce right to Cole Catlin, the Magic City keeper. In the circle. Nico Devera sends it upfield for number 17, Jesse Garcia Aguilar. Now he moves inside. There's the cross. And number 10, Antonio Poreco was anticipating it, but it was, the ball is deflected away, out, and a corner kick to Galacticos. Nico Devera will take the kick. With the left leg. Wind to his back, here it comes. First touch, Magic City. Can't get too far, shot towards the net, it's gonna hit the crossbar. And back out, Magic City clears it over to the far side, number 14. Nicholas Preston and Magic City will put the ball into play far side. And they dodge a bullet there. That shot on goal hit the post, bounce back out. Galacticos on the attack again. Number 11, Alfredo Valladares Sanchez. Now to the net, Cole Catlin goes up to make the stop. Magic City trails by one. And a whistle right there, the referee right in front. And that's gonna go against Galacticos. Brandon, well done, B. Cole Gregory with the kick. Into the air. First touch by Galacticos. And that's going to go against Magic City. Nico Devera battling here near side. The ball is out off Magic City. No, they're going to say it is Magic City ball. Musig will put the ball into play. And into the back. Number 18. Emmett Zavitz spoken to 
Running a little too rough there. Free kick here on the near side for Galacticos. Number 22, Brandon Faro puts it into the middle over to number 11, Alfredo Valladares Sanchez. And there's a whistle and injured player now for Galacticos. Austin Kernian. He gets up. You'll never catch up. Crystal, give me up, buddy. Have your ball. Brand, look at Crystal. Ball to the near side. Christopher Michelson. Down to the middle. Brandon Faro. And now Austin Kernian across midfield with the pass. And the red team now moving from right to left. Zach Morgan flash knocks that one away. Still red ball. Antonio Poreco retrieves it. And just as they reach the box, it's cleared out. And number 22, Brandon Faro is there, though, keeping it here on the left half for Galacticos. And a takeaway by Magic City. And number 15, the flag up here on the near side. Reese Quaid. So I'm not sure if Reese Quaid was offsides or not. The flag went up and they allowed it to play on. Most likely before at that same time the possession had changed. Number 14 with the right leg. Right into the hands of Cole Catlin. Nathan Beasley looking for a score. Ball at midfield. Magic City. Amid Zavitz. Nobody there on that pass. Galacticos. Colin Gregory arguing with the referee. And he gets the yellow card. So Gregory asking the referee to make the calls on both ends. And he gets the yellow. Galactico spreading the field as they move far side. Number 11, Alfredo Valladares Sanchez across midfield. Pass in the middle is Errant Music up to Gregory, and the ball is out. White ball, Magic City. Sander Musig puts it into play, and the wind will push it out. The wind now picking up, coming from across the field, far side here to the near side. And Galacticos will put it into play. Substitutions for Magic City, Christian Nuremberger now in. Ball at midfield, hits the referee. Taken now by Magic City. Upfield, there's Reese Quaid, but too long. And scooped up by the keeper, Quentin Marshall.
Ball in midfield, now the other way for Galacticos. The West Side Metro's Galacticos 2-0 in their flight. Looking for their third win. They lead Magic City 2-1 here. Magic City looking for their first win here. They tied the first match. They lost yesterday, and now they're looking for their win. Cole Catlin, this kick up towards midfield and across midfield. Number 12, Christian Nuremberger. Pass to the far side, or the near side here, towards the back line. Nico Devera, also number 13, Christopher Michelson battling for a position, and the ball goes over to Galacticos. Gregory, number four, goes into the box with that, looking for number 12, Nirenberger, high into the air, the header, it's cleared out. Number seven, Mason Luce, and that shot on goal is gonna be wide of the net. Just wide, they had pulled out the keeper, Quentin Marshall. So it was deflected by Galacticos, number eight with the shot. Thomas Martz and the corner kick here for, West, for Magic City. All right, we await the kick into the wind. Here it comes, nice kick. Just a little bit long. Can Magic City control it? No, it's pushed up to midfield. Sent back the other way though by Morgan Flash. Zach Morgan Flash. Just over 22 minutes remaining here in the match. Upfield. Nobody there, goes right to Cole Catlin. Zavitz gets back to the ball over to Musig. Xander's kick will roll, bounce twice and go out. And substitutions for Magic City. Throw comes in for Galactic. Goes in for Magic City now. Number 16, Nolan Trafton. Red team at midfield now across. Antonio Porreco, number 10. His pass deflected by Sage D'Ambrosia. Alfredo Valladares Sanchez in the middle. Cleared out. That's Mason Butler in the middle, number one. Colin Gregory has it taken away and against against Galacticos Actually, number 17 for Magic City Jacob Woodring not Mason Butler my apologies down the field and right to the keeper Quentin Marshall Marshall's kick, met right there, past midfield by Xander Musig. Trafton couldn't handle it. Now here on the left half, they've got a hurry. Number 17 coming over, Jesse Garcia Aguilar. 
Battling with number 17, Nolan, or, uh, Jacob Woodring. Ball on the near side. Put into play by Magic City. And before it comes into play, substitutions number seven comes out for Magic City. Mason loose. Brandon Peterson, number 13, now in. New six toss. Right here at midfield and out. Ball out again near side. Red ball. And the substitution coming out for Magic City, number 15, Reese Quaid. Brendan Farrow will put the ball into play here at midfield. Galacticos deep now into Magic City. This is defensive territory. Moves across. Nuremberger trying to get there. Now he's got to get back to the ball. Get some help from number 13, Chris, number 13, Brandon Peterson. Across midfield, Nuremberger still in front of the ball. Nice job, still on his feet towards the back line. Michelson is there. And the ball is out. And the kick over to Galacticos. Quentin Marshall, kick up towards midfield. As teammates have him out and send it soaring to the left half. Number nine, Zach Morgan Flash will run it down. And that's going to be out. Off number three, Sage D'Ambrosia. And the whistle, and that will give the possession over to Magic City. Ready to play on the far side of the field, and we're going to take a quick water break, so we'll be right back. All right, we are back. Just a quick brief one minute or so. Break for some water. 20 minutes of the second half. Galacticos still with the two to one lead. Devera cross midfield with that pass and out. So Magic City still looking for a score here in the second half. Only down by a goal. Now we win it. There we go. Well done, Throw comes in out off red. Music will have another throw in here near side. Drop, drop, drop. Coming deep. Drop. Sanders tossed to midfield. Kept in play. Michelson sends it back here to the near side. White ball. Toss near the corner. Push back out. Music trying to get between Antonio Porreco and the ball does. 
And his teammates will come over and knock it out near side. Red ball. And let's see here. Whistle. Number 14, Nathan Beasley hits the ground. They'll have the kick right there. Number 22, Brandon Faro. Faro's kick. Into the box, cleared out by Sage D'Ambrosi. He's got the height advantage. Number 13, Brandon Peterson sends it flying up towards midfield. Galacticos ball. So they put it in and it goes right out and over to Magic City. Antonio Porreco uses his hand. A little push off there and the ball goes over to Magic City. Twenty fourth minute here of the second half. In front of the net, can they get a shot? They do, past the diving keeper. Got the save right off his fingertips. Magic City with an attempt right there. They came close, but they're gonna get the corner kick now, far side. So Quentin Marshall dove to his right and just got the fingertips on it. I'm not sure if that was Christian Nuremberger. Colin, number four, Colin Gregory will take the kick far side, wind to his back. There's the kick. Short, played right back at, at Colin. And now taken away by the Galacticos. Far sideline now across midfield. Antonio Porreco taking as far as he can. And now here comes Magic City, number 19, Roberto Lopez. Defense gets back, Lopez still on his feet. He's all over him. Now was he in the box? Where was the foul is the question. Roberto Lopez putting some spark into Magic City right now. And this linesman coming to talk to the referee. It is a penalty kick. So a huge opportunity here for Magic City to tie the score. And Sage D'Ambrosia is hurt there at midfield. So Sage D'Ambrosia Having some difficulty breathing in this heat. Had some wind knocked out of him and he's getting some water there, far side. So the penalty kick, number four. Colin Gregory will take the kick. Quentin Marshall, the keeper for Galacticos, this can tie the match right here. Gregory had a bone to pick with the referee earlier, so he'd love to push this one through. All right, and Gregory's kick on the ground, saved by the keeper. 
Quentin Marshall. Gregory just didn't get enough on that ball, and it just rolled slowly to Marshall's right. He dove and saved it. Defense has got to get back here for Magic City. There's the cross. Porreco fires and hits the side of the net. And didn't take much time for Galacticos to get back on that one and try and score. Goal kick here for Magic City. Substitutions for Magic City. And Cole Catlin fires it upfield. Morgan Flash can't keep it in front. Poreco on the ground. Ball still in play. And let's see, goes out across the back line. So the corner kick here to Galacticos. And double zero, Nico Devera will take the kick. Nico with the left leg. Here's the kick. Cleared out by Morgan Flash. Roberto Lopez, number 19. Pass to number 12, Christian Nuremberger. Nuremberger into the middle of Cole Gregory. Gregory with a pass here to the near side. To Luce, number six. Donovan Luce, now here on the left half of the field. Ball out, and let's see, is it a corner kick? Corner kick for Galacticos. Corner coming from the near side. There's the kick in front of the net. Morgan Flash <laughs> clears it back out on the header, and that hurt. He's still holding his head. Hit it on the top of his head, I believe, rather than the forehead. Into the middle. Sage D'Ambrosia knocks it out. Nuremberger sends it across midfield. Alfredo Valladares Sanchez there, number 11 for Galacticos. So Magic City will put the ball into play, far side. And a whistle and push to the back that goes against Galacticos. Free kick right there, Colin Gregory for Magic City. 32nd minute of play. Here in the second half, two to one lead, Galacticos. We're Magic City. Sage D'Ambrosia passes it towards the back line. Number six, Donovan Luce. Now number 15 in the middle there, Reese Quaid. And Galacticos will take it away. Fires it upfield. Nathan Beasley, and it's out here near side, red ball. So Galacticos will put it into play here on the near side. Just a few minutes remaining. Oh 
using the back line. And the flag goes up far side, off sides. Cole Catlin will fire the ball up to midfield. They need a win here. Number eight, Thomas Martz, and out here near side, red ball. Number nine in the middle of the field for Galacticos, Eric Avalis Alfaro, Sage D'Ambrosia. Takes it away. Quickly, Galacticos put it back in. Thirty fourth minute of play. Nice cross right there in the pass where the shot on goal goes out. Nathan Beasley looking for a score. Ball in the left half, two to one lead. Galacticos, Roberto Lopez, number 19. Martz. Thomas Martz sends it downfield. Music will get to it there, number 10, near the corner. Xander comes back out with it, and it does go out. Red ball. So Galacticos will have it. So as the ball goes out at midfield, let's see, it is Magic City ball. Well upfield, 35th minute. Lopez. Nuremberger sends it inside there and right to the keeper, Quentin Marshall. Ball here to the near side, still in play. And that's the whistle and the end of this match. So it's the West Side Metros Galacticos with a two to one victory over Magic City here at the 2010 Far West Regionals. And both teams left it all out there. You see they're exhausted. Very exciting match. Colin Gregory had the PK attempt, just couldn't get it in. Would have tied the match. And I'm sure Magic City a little upset, but well played game. And the Galacticos with the victory. Ken Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. We hope you enjoyed this match. And good luck and congratulations to the Galacticos. And again, maybe we'll see you all out here at the 2011 Far West Regionals, wherever that may be. Till then, see you all later.
All right, here we are. We're at the 2010 Far West Regionals, the Galactico squad. They just won their third game of the Regionals, so they're looking pretty good. They just defeated Magic City. And uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? I'm uh, Quinn Marshall. I'm number 18 for the Galacticos. I'm Chase. I'm five. I'm Austin, number three. I'm Chris Tom, number 13. Eric Avalos, number nine. All right, you played keeper. What was going through your mind on that PK in the second half? Um, at first, I thought to myself, I can't believe we're about to tie this team. But, uh, you know, I put it through my head a few times, and I figured I better save this. You know, uh, PK is our strength of mine, and uh, I decided I wanted to save that were you, one. Were you surprised where he went with it and how he went? Um, I told him to go that way. I don't know if uh, you saw that on the film, but I told him to go that way. That's the way he went. And uh, so. Yeah, he wasn't real happy when he made the save there. Yeah. He yeah. stood there for like a minute or two. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Now, are you, are you the normal keeper on this squad? Yeah, we have uh, one keeper this year. I'm that keeper. And uh, I think next year we're picking up uh, another good goalie. So yeah. I'll be looking forward to that. But I'm the only goalie this year. All right. All right. So 3-0. Is that what you expected coming in? Yeah, because we had easy bracket. <laughs> really? So you beat Hawaii yesterday, and you beat the team out of Idaho the first game? Yeah. All right. And so the Idaho game, because it's a tougher team, was probably your most well-rounded game? Um. Yeah, I guess. We played like crap, this team. This game? Yeah. What was what was the biggest problem with this game with you guys? Um, we weren't passing at all. We were just dribbling. and. Were you waiting for them to kind of do something? Defensively, yes. Yeah. And then... Offensively, we're just horrible. In the first half, maybe 10 minutes into the match, you had a collision over on that side, and the referee like walked with you all the way up. What was he telling you? Um, he was telling me, um, basically a warning for next time that's yellow or red because it was I got no ball at all. It kind of took him a while though to get that through. Yeah, he like, was walked with you all the way up. Yeah, he had a lot to say. Did he? Yeah, <laughs> he had a lot to say about that one. All right, so you guys can't think about this game. You got to think about it on Friday now, right? Yeah, um, I think we need to look forward to uh, playing and thinking, just not looking back on this game, but looking forward and playing better next time. Yeah, definitely, because yeah. it's elimination rounds. Yeah. yeah. Do you know who you're going to have yet? Um, I think it's between uh, either New Mexico and Nevada, so oh, really? we'll be waiting to see who it is. So I'd be rooting for New Mexico. Yeah, anyone. Maybe. Yeah, does it even matter at this point no. since you're in? We've beaten no, Nevada we've before. Beaten Nevada. Really? Which team is it? Uh, Newsport. They're tough, but uh, you guys obviously, you know, I'm watching this game. It's two to one. You guys are very disappointed in, in your uh, in your effort there. But you know, to most fans watching, they would say you guys probably played a very good game. Um, to be honest, not our fans. Uh, they're they're used to uh, they're used to seeing a uh, passing team that that shuts down teams and that dominates. Uh, they did not get that today. And I'd say so far in the tournament, it has not been like that. Uh, as they were saying, we beat, we beat uh, New Sport, who's the Nevada champions. We played very well that game. Right. Uh, we need to pick it up, and I think we can do it again, but it'll be tough. Right. And then it's not just as easy as saying, let's pass more, right? I mean, what are some of the things you guys have to do to get yourselves passing more? To talk. It's talk more. More communication. More yeah. communication. Yeah, that wasn't going on today. No, we had no communication at all. Yeah. I mean, we weren't really getting our heads up either. We kind of all wanted to score, so we just kind of put their head down and tried to, tried to take it all the way. Up. Yeah. All right. Well, who do you want to say hi to? Anybody out there? Any shout-outs to anybody? Uh, of course, Thank i got to say hi to my mom. Uh, no, thanks. Thanks, parents, for taking me out here, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, We're not going to be OISA or whatever it is next year, so this is a great experience for our last time in regionals. All right. Yeah. Wait, what did I say? Is it anything? <laughs> Say hello to anybody you want to. Hey, everybody I know. And yeah. my mom and dad. Yeah. Okay. Um, hi, mother. Hi, father. <laughs> um, thanks for supporting me and taking me down here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'd um, like to say hi to my mom and dad as well, and thank you for taking me out here. Same right. so goes out for the parents and just everyone for their support. All right, good job, guys. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, take it easy. All right, here we are, four more players for the Galactico squad, and who are you? My name's Nathan Beasley. I'm number 14 on a forward. My name's Chris, and I'm a forward and a midfielder. Nico Devera, number double zero. Uh, Brandon Farrow, number 22. 
All right. So, obviously, the first five guys we interviewed, not too happy with the performance. What did your coach tell you at halftime? Uh, our coach was just saying, like, we need to step it up. We need to start passing more, stop getting in our heads, you know, just play how we normally play. And do you think you tried to do that in the second half? Well, I think we tried, but, you know, it's not just – you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to try to do what our coach told us to. You have to try to, like, physically do it, and that's the harder part. Right. And plus, I mean, Magic City, you know, they have something to do with it as well. I mean, it's not like they were going to completely roll over on this game. Well, we just thought that they are you know, a bad team, but they – I guess they came out with fire and, yeah – yeah, because they still had a chance if they won to to move forward. So that pretty much uh, took care of that. Um, all right, so you played just about the entire game. I think maybe you, you were subbed out maybe once or twice. Yeah, do you normally do that? Well, I usually play like a little less than half a game. But the first game I showed my best and I got more playing time. So you got more playing time in there. And uh, does the weather out here affect you guys? Well, I came out, and I was not used to elevation and the heat, so I was tired the first couple games. Right, so you're like gasping for air, right, because of the elevation? Did it bother you? Uh, a little bit. Just, you got to drink a lot. You can't do too much about it. Right. <laughs> exactly. You're here. What can you do? Yeah. Exactly. Now, have you guys ever made it this far? Um, two years ago in Hawaii, and then we got killed in the quarters by California. So. Oh, so Cal. California. I think it's Southern California. Southern California. They're tough. You know, obviously, Oregon's got a bunch of great teams, too. Uh, you know, when you go back home after this tournament, what does re the rest of your season look like? Or are you guys done for the year? I don't know. We'll yeah, we're playing. Yeah, we'll probably do a couple more tournaments. Couple and more. a lot of people have ODP. Right. Yeah, right after. And so you guys won't be back here as a team next year? Uh, we'll see. Or do you know? It depends on if people leave. Yeah. Right. Most likely, well, most likely we'll get more more guys, a lot right. better, and then just keep on going from there, right. see how far we can get in this. Keep the team together, right, and see how far you can get, exactly. Uh, well, you know, hopefully Friday, you know, you don't know who the draw is going to be yet. Um, I doubt your coach really has to say too much to get you guys up for that game. Well, yeah, we're, we know the teams. We know, we know Nevada. We played them in a tournament before, but we don't really know the other team. We don't really know New Mexico, but we're just... They're kind of like an equal match, so we're basically guessing they're the same sort of team. Mm -hmm. All right. So either one. Yeah, right. either one. We're ready for both of them. Right. Same thing. Yeah, we're totally ready. All right. So you we're guys have destroy a... them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have the day off tomorrow. Are you gonna do anything fun? Relax. Just get ready for the game. Yeah, relax. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in the hotel room. I don't know. Yeah. Out of the sun. Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you could probably have to catch up, right? Yeah, status. I've been a while. So. Made semi quarterfinals. <laughs> there you go. All right, do you want to give a shout out to anybody out there? I can say thank you to my parents. You know, they pay for all this stuff. If I couldn't do it without them. Right. Uh, to my parents because they paid for the trip and they took me here. Uh, thank you, mom and dad, for supporting me all this way. Yeah, thanks, mom and dad. They're helping me get like, all this way. Same thing. All right, guys, good luck on Friday, and uh, we'll see you guys later. All right, we got the final group of players from uh, Oregon here. Galactico's moving on to the elimination rounds on Friday. And uh, give me your name and number. Uh, my name is Jesse Garcia, number 17. Uh, Isaac, number 21. Antonio Perego, number 10. All right. All right, so you guys uh, were down 1-0 in this game. Were you, what were you thinking at that point? Were you shocked? Uh, yeah, uh, we came into this team, in this game, thinking we we're going to walk over them. And um, I knew we were still going to win, but uh, we just had to push ourselves. Right. Now, is that always, uh, you know, when you go into a game thinking you're going to just tear a team apart, isn't that kind of something troublesome to do? Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard because you never know really what kind of a team they are and what their strengths so you always have to think about that. Exactly, especially in the regionals. Like yeah, that. in the regionals, because they have to be good if they win their state. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to, you know, just be pushovers, twelve nothing. Yeah. You know, or something like that. Uh, this game here was the first game that you guys had actually allowed a goal, right? Yeah. Uh, we just didn't come out a hundred percent, and a lot, 
I didn't play very well, and a couple other people. I mean, the whole team didn't play well as a team. So. Does, is this the kind of team that plays off their defense? Does your defense have to do a good job to get the offense going? Yeah, everyone has to play 100% for us to be at our best. And so I guess going into half, when you guys got the tying score, you know, 1-1, one, one, did you kind of think to yourself, okay, here we go, now we're playing? Um, it was just getting into the, the rhythm of the game. Uh, we didn't come out with any rhythm in the first 15 minutes, and once we got the first goal, we started uh, getting that rhythm. Right, started playing a little tougher. Now, were they a pretty physical team, or were they yeah. just trying to be physical? I think of they were all big, and I don't. they didn't have much skill. They're just big and physical. Yeah, number nine uh, for them, big, tall kid. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, they don't. what they lack in speed and skill, they have to use their physical Yeah, form. they have to use their body and... That's how they make up for their speed and right. And I mean, that's always a good thing too to have the the referee, you know, be aware of that and not let everything go. Oh uh, yeah, well, he did make some bad calls, but <laughs> did they go against you guys? Yeah, but we still gotta we have to go through that. And... Yeah, I mean, they complained pretty pretty much that one of their guys got a yellow card. Uh, so I don't think they like the referee either. Yeah, <laughs> I would say he's a bad ref, but there's some bad calls out there. It was, it, was a, it was one of those games, you know, there was a lot of stuff going on. Um, you guys weren't in your rhythm either, and when that happens, you get a lot of breakdowns and penalties kind of uh, come forward. All right, so who do you want to say thank you to, hello to out there? Uh, just my family back in Oregon. Um, just thanks for letting me come out here and play. Okay. Uh, Mom and Dad for letting me come out here, raising the money to get out here and uh, letting me play. Uh, thanks to my parents for supporting me out here. All right, guys, good luck on Friday. All right, hope to see you guys soon. All right, take care. All right, well, that'll do it. We're at the uh, 2010 Far West Regionals. That match we just saw, Galacticos defeats Magic City 2-1. to one. It was a close game throughout, and uh, hopefully you thought it was exciting to watch. Till we see you next time. King Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions.